very very good power there's a lot of different there's a lot of other um, sets to have versions of it and I'll be sure to point that out uh, other than that not too much else about Invuln it's a pretty standard set it's supposed to be like a, your Superman sort of set so but if I, I'd roll a an Invuln tanker and I'll go over the tank powers if you wanted to roll like a Superman type guy but uh, moving on we got Regen Regen one of the best scrapper secondaries in the game you know why? There is not a single power in Regen that is bad, or that you wouldn't you wouldn't grab. I mean, maybe you could skip its self res, which is if you die, you can resurrect yourself. But other than that, everything is great in Regen. Um, it's got quick recovery, which is a power that is always on and it always makes your endurance come back faster. That's great. It's got. There, it's got the dull pain, just like invulnerability does. It's got fast healing, which it's just got a lot of stuff that increases regeneration, a little bit of stuff that increases resistance, but other than that, really, really high regen. What makes regen so good is that it's got two different heals, which is dull pain and reconstruction. It's also, it's got no, no really big holes because it's got all the protection to uh, mesmerizations and everything. It's just such a great set. I mean, it, to me, it's a little bit overpowered, but uh, it doesn't have like the o the only thing that isn't great about Regen is just it doesn't have a lot of defenses. It just has a lot of Regen, but that's okay. It, it's Regen just overshadows all of that resistance and defense holes that it has, and Regen is just so hard to kill. Um, it's tier 9, used to be really bad, now it's incredibly good. Basically, use it's tier 9, 15 seconds, you cannot be killed, pretty much. It will put your defense and your resistances at the cap for scrappers for 15 seconds. I mean, it's just, just one more thing about regen that makes it so very good. But, uh, not too much else to say about regen. Moving on, we got shield defense. Shield defenses really cool you get to use a shield it, it was one of the most recent recently implemented scrapper secondaries um, pretty offensive too it's got a power that's very 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 similar to lightning rod which is called shield charge so basically uh, something that's very popular is going elect shields so you have lightning rod and right after you use lightning rod you can shield charge as well but uh, Yes, shield, uh, Shields is a very, very offensive set. It's got against all odds, which is a toggle. That makes it so uh, however many enemies are around you, you get a damage bonus for each one of those enemies. Very good. Um, it's got it's a defensive-based set, so that means uh, it's based off of enemies hitting you less instead of enemies hitting you for less damage. Um, one with the shield is it's tier 9. It's a typical tier 9, as if like comparing it to Unstoppable and all that. But it's not as good because it, it can't come back nearly as fast as uh, Unstoppable and all that. So not a lot of people get one, one with the shield. Um, shield has been very, very, very popular as of late. I like it. I've got a shield. And uh, not, not too much else to say uh, about shields. Not too, not too much else to say. Uh, going on, we've got Super Reflexes. Super Reflexes is also a defensive base set. Um, Instead of being mo mostly damage heavy, it is actually a um, recharge heavy set with a uh, what's the power called? With quickness, quickness basically makes it so all the time your your powers will come back faster. Um, not too much else to say about um, the super reflexes. It's a very good set. Uh, it's got really really good defenses. I like I like super reflexes. It's tier nine. It's elude. Elude basically makes it so your defense debuffs is at the cap, or defense debuff resistance is at the cap. So you so your defense cannot be lowered. It raises your your defense to well past the cap. Basically makes it so you almost cannot be hit for uh, ninety seconds. I believe is how long elude uh, stays on. But the loot isn't like other tier li tier nines, is that in, in that it crashes your health. It only will crash your endurance. So, just something to keep in mind. Uh, next up, we got willpower. Willpower, in my opinion, is one of the most 
overpowered of all the all, all the armor sets in the game for tankers and for scrappers. It is the most the most survivable. It puts every, pretty much every other defen uh, defensive set to shame as far as survivability. Um, just it's got great defenses, great resistances. Um, it's tier nine is say you took unstoppable. You cut, you cut the bonuses it gave by like a quarter maybe, but you made it so its crash was only half your endurance bar. That is strength of will. It's a great power. Um, the only power that in willpower that isn't very good or isn't really as necessary is resurgence, which is like regen, just a self res. Other than that, I mean, willpower is just overpowered. Its key power, though, is rise to the challenge, what makes it so. However, the more enemies are around you, uh, the higher your regen goes. So you'll just sit in a group of in a group of enemies, and they'll just keep attacking you. And you'll be like, ha ha ha! The more the more of you are around me, the higher my regeneration. And you your weapons cannot harm me. It's just it's just ridiculous. Willpower ridiculous. Anyway, anyways, um, that's just gonna wrap this up. Um. If there's uh, anything, any suggestions, any comments you guys like to leave me, be sure to, um, I'll be sure to post another video up because, I don't know, probably can get through tankers pretty fast. Anyways, that's been this Let's Play, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.